This simple habit will improve your mindset. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli Dad with Project Eli, where we educate, we lead, and we inspire. And that's the title of an article by a lady named Glad Doggett that is outstanding. I'm going to read it to you. It's fabulous. This simple habit will improve your mindset. Notice what you notice every day to shift your perspective. Okay, two birds live in an arid desert. One bird is a vulture. He spends his days looking for dry, dead carcasses lying about the ground. All day long he searches for rotten, decaying flesh to consume. He is certain the world is a graveyard of lifeless, decaying, of lifeless, decaying place with dead creatures for him to feast on. Everywhere he looks, there are rotting corpses to sustain him. He never notices the colorful desert flowers budding and blossoming, the wild lizards squirming on the ground, the small mice, tortoises, and snakes darting, slinking, and plodding in the sands, living their lives. The other bird is a hummingbird. All day long she flits joyously from flower to flower, seeking out sweet nectar to drink. She's convinced the world is an Eden of vibrancy, color, and life. Everywhere she looks, there is evidence that she shares a lush paradise with other creatures. She never notices the dead animals scattered about the desert floor because she's focused on the bounty and beauty in a place that's teeming with life and wonder. Both birds fly over the same desert every day. The only difference is each one has its own unique mission to find what they're looking for. Each bird looks for evidence to prove their outlook about the world is correct and they are always proven right. They find exactly what they look for. What you think, you become. What you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you create. So says Buddha. So which bird are you? It's been said so many times that it's become cliche, but it's true. Energy flows where attention goes. You can spend your days looking for reasons to be angry, depressed, and full of rage, and you'll most certainly find them. It's as easy as turning on your TV or scrolling through your Twitter feed. Or you can focus your attention on the good that's around you. There's so much you have to be grateful for. What would happen if you, like the hummingbird, purposely focused your attention on the good that's all around you? Your current blessings don't have to be monumental to have an impact on your mindset. The hummingbird flits among the smallest flowers to seek out nectar. And when she finds a juicy flower, she rejoices and drinks. So notice what you notice. Start keeping track of where you put your attention by default. If you intentionally focus on what's working right now rather than what's wrong, your outlook and perspective will shift. We all have the power to decide what we'll do, who we'll be, and what types of lives we're going to lead. The bottom line is this. What you notice consistently influences your energy, your energy influences your attitude, and your attitude influences your life. Rather than giving all your attention to the bad, put laser focus on what's good. Make a habit of noticing where your attention is focused. You'll always find the type of world that you're looking for. Wasn't that a great article? Once again, Big shout out to a lady named Glad Doggett for, for this article, and it speaks for itself. And because we never end a meeting on a philosophical note, let's get out there and charge!
I'm Eli's dad.